Today's math strategy video is on using place value to multiply. So our first strategy is that we're going to use place value blocks to multiply a single digit number by a 10. So our example problem here is 3 times a 90. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, make, if I can, I'm going to make three rows. I'm going to make three different rows. Let me label them first, the second, and there. There we have our three different sets. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull these place value blocks over here. And then I'm going to put 90 or nine, sorry, nine tens in each group. So there's four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And I'm going to do the same down here. One, two, oh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Make one more and then I'm going to duplicate it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like we have one too many. Let's check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have our first group, second group, and third group. So we have three sets of 90. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these into 100. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens, I just need one more to make this a 100. So now I can delete these. I have a hundred now. Well now I only have eight here but if I move two I will have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. I will have ten so I can delete these and I can put replace it with a hundred. Move a hundred here. Okay now I don't think I'm gonna have enough tens to make a hundred here, so I'm just gonna have two hundreds and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So erase our rows now because we no longer need those. So my final answer here is going to be 1, 2, so I have 200 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, that's 70. So I have 270. So another way to write this, I can say 3 times 9 times 10. So this can be 27 times 10. Um, I can also write this as, let's, uh, oh, whoops, let's erase this down here. I can also write that as um, 3 times 9 times 10. And I can say 3 times 10 times 9 and have 30 times 9. So the commutative property tells me that I can move these numbers around because I'm always going to get the exact same answer. It will always be 270 no matter what. So this is what it looks like with place value blocks. Let's look at another strategy. Okay, so we have a word problem here. It says Lisa plants four rows of tomatoes. Um, if she plants 50 in each row, how many total tomatoes does she have? So she has one, two, three, four, and she has 50 in each. Now, 50s are pretty easy because I know that they combine and they will give me two sets of 100. But let's look at this as um, using the distributive property. So I have 4 times 50, and I can break this down in a couple of different ways. I can say 4 
times five times 10. So this would be five times 10. Now I do not have to do this first. I can take these parentheses because usually parentheses, parentheses mean that I need to do that operation first. And that's not necessarily true here. I can multiply these in any order because I'm doing the same operation. Now, if I had an addition and sign in here somewhere, I would need to do the multiplication first. But here I can say four times five is 20 and 20 times 10 is 200. I can also just say four sets of 50 are 200. Um, I can also do four times 10, um, oops, sorry, four times 10 times five, and four times 10 is 40 times five sets of 40 are still gonna be 200. So using the distributive property, I can break our the 10 down into a more manageable number, like a five times 10, um, and I can look at it that way. I can also do, uh, you know, two times five uh, plus two times, two times five, and I can get 10 and I can do, five sets of these. As long as I use something that I am going to get 50 out of. So this would be 10, 10, and 10, and 10, and another 10. So if that was too difficult, but these are fives and tens and we should know them. But just so you know, you can break this down into an even smaller number using distributive property. That is the end of today's math strategy video.